Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Uh, I did connect my Belkin 2.1 HDMI cable via my OPPO UDP203 to my TCL 2017 55P605 Dolby Vision HDR television, which is right here. By the way, this tele, uh, this 4K player. I would suggest you go ahead and buy it because I know that you will have a hard time getting this one once they start discontinuing these, which they will discontinue by the end of this year. You will have a hard time getting uh, UDP 203 or UDP 205, so go grab one while you can. So the main point of this video is going to be for me to film this in 4K via my GoPro Hero 6 camera and just to show you uh, how beautiful Dolby Vision looks via my HDMI 2.1 Belkin cable. Previously I was using my HDMI 2.0 and yes I was probably getting somewhere between uh, 17, 16, 15, 16, 17 gigab uh, gigab bits per second which is fine but here I'm getting steady 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 18 gigabits per second and it's not skipping not one bit of uh, bit rate and it's at a constant bit rate so what does that mean when you have a cable like HDMI 2.1 Belkin cable it means that static metadata and dynamic metadata, which is, this is what this is. This is a st uh, dynamic metadata, Dolby Vision. When you have dynamic metadata, Dolby Vision, being processed through a very good high-end, this is a high-end 4K player. There's nothing better than OPPO. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, only thing better than OPPO UDP 203, it's OPPO UDP 205. All right, there's nothing better at the moment on the market than the OPPO. It's the best 4K player. It's the best player, period, that you can buy. Uh, it's not just me saying this. It's everybody saying this, okay? Uh, that should be obvious. But here I am on a TCL 2017 version TV, and this TV is still good. If you can get this TV for like 500 or 480, buy it. This is a still a good good entry-level 4K TV that's going to give you two formats and Dolby Vision with the Belkin HDMI 2.1 cable really looks fantastic here. Uh, let me show you this one scene and, and even from from an angle you can see that uh, it just looks great. Maybe I can move away a little bit like this just to show you and really looks great. But you're gonna ask, but how? But how can this be? Well, it can be because Belkin 2.1 high definition media interface cable, it's unlocked and ready for a higher bandwidth, higher bandwidth of data being transferred between your uh, 4K player and your television. So when you have unlocked cable that it's able to transfer that data much faster than your 2.0 cable, high-speed cable, then guess what? The bit rate then your bit rate is going to be much much steadier. When you have that kind of data being transferred meaning that your high dynamic range processing transfer between your 4K player and your television, when it's processing all that data, okay, when it's being processed, it will be processed instantly, constant 18 gigabits per second. It's not gonna drop, not one beat of, of, of gigabit. It's gonna stay at that constant 18 gigabits per second, and that's why you're getting this constant bit rate here. All right, that's that's what's happening here. And there's a good, pretty good reason for that, okay? And that's how you take advantage of this TV. This TV, it is not a high-end premium TV. That should be obvious. What this TV is, it's an entry-level 4K 
budget TV. Meaning this is for people who cannot go above 500, 600. Uh, they cannot go above uh, 1,000, 1,500, and they need something that's within $1,000. So what this is, it's a really good entry-level 4K experience. But if you feed this television with a like really good 4K player, uh, and then Belkin HDMI 2.1 cable, and you use those settings here. I'll show it to you for the one last time, because I know you guys been asking me this a lot. I'm gonna show you this for one last time, because you've been got, you guys been asking me this all the time. So here, let, let's go back to the uh, Dolby Vision right here. It says Dolby Vision clearly there. All right, and uh, let me show you. For one last time first foremost TV brightness it's set at bright but it needs to be brighter picture mode needs to be set at bright okay so when you have TV brightness at brighter and then Dolby Vision at bright and then you come here and you turn off the local dimming by the way local dimming will be turned off as soon as soon as you turn the uh, Dolby Vision bright and TV brightness brighter. And this is uh, the end result. It just looks better. I mean, for, for a budget 4K TV, this is pretty outstanding. You got to remember what you're paying here. You're paying here a 500 bucks, roughly. If you, you Maybe you can get it cheaper for like 480 or 550 right? So you paying a pretty good amount of money that it's affordable for something that it's almost giving you that premium like almost premium like quality here. And even here you can see how beautifully the uh Dolby Vision is being presented here on this television. All right. Now, does that Belkin cable have something to do with it? Well, yes, all of these components have something to do with it, guys. And that's why I do these videos. That's why I'm showing you all of this. That's why I'm telling you to write these things down. Take a pen and, uh, and, and sheet of paper and write these things down. That's why I do this. I, I do this to help you out. I want you guys to enjoy the best you can out of your TV here. And for a budget TV, this is outstanding. All right? This is pretty outstanding for a TV that's only five hundred dollars or five fifty. I don't know if you, if I would even upgrade to the the six series because I heard all sorts of problems that are happening with the six series. However, I will have to see those problems for myself. Meaning, I will have to test the uh, TV for myself to truly kind of get to the bottom of it to see if it's all true if the panel is really having an issue and all that stuff uh, i think there might fix it if it's not a hardware problem if it's something via update firmware update they can fix maybe they can fix it but i don't know yet i will have to like i said i have to i cannot talk about something unless i test it myself i have to test it myself and i have to see it for myself and then i would be able to tell you and even here just look at the amount of uh, brightness that you're now getting from Dolby Vision here and it just looks fantastic and of course even here as you can clearly see it uh, on this uh, television I can maybe even get a little bit closer this is due to the fact that now we're squeezing as much as possible of that peak brightness necessary for this Dolby Vision uh, to give us we're squeezing as much as we can from this TV to get this picture quality. And uh, yes, Belkin cable definitely helps, guys. I wouldn't be recommending HDMI Belkin 2.1. Uh, it will make your HDR brighter. It will help your HDR and your bit rate will be much better. But you do have to uh, use a good uh, picture settings, calibrations. All of these things has to be matched in order for this to work. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you like this uh, 4K video that I just did here. Thank you.